Oh yeah, baby, it's just you and me. Oh yeah, I love me some barbell workouts. Yeah, yeah, we just go like this, we just go like that. Oh yeah, let's get this done, baby. Oh man, hey, what's up? Oh, you just caught me off guard, man, I'm sorry. But uh, today we're gonna be going over some barbell workouts. <laughs> Forget the part you saw earlier, right? It's just me romancing with my barbell. I love barbells when it comes to workout, right? And so we're gonna do this video specifically because of the request, okay, that Tanya made for us. She's a loyal subscriber, she's a great person, and don't let me start talking about the transformation that she did for herself and the ability to be able to do something so great that's beyond herself, and we're so proud of you. So we decided that we're gonna put together this informational video on how to complete a full body workout using the barbell only, all right? So stay tuned to the very end because this video Though it was transpired and created by the idea of Tanya, we want to utilize this moment, right, to reach all the other people out there that needs help with barbells too, you see? So we're all gonna help everybody out. Stay tuned, let's get started. So if you're new here and just floating by, stopping by for some odd reason, hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss a thing because we're coming out with a lot more. Okay, and to start off, we have our associate here who's a Look at how much of a beast this guy. This guy really impresses me, right? So he's here, he's part of the FitSTEM family, and he's gonna do you guys a favor by conducting exactly how to complete this bench press, okay? Because we know that the bench press is the man thing to do, right? Ah, we wanna get in there. Monday starts is chest day, right? But people don't remember or even start to grasp on how the fundamentals actually work. Where the hand placements go? How much I gotta push down? How much do I gotta bend in? So we're gonna go over it right now. Let's go, Sam. Sam's gonna start off with the incline bench press. Here at FitSTEM, we start off with the incline because if you take a look at the upper chest right here, this is incline up here. And it's very difficult, right? This is a very difficult muscle to work out because uh, it's very small. As bodybuilders, we wanna try to grow our muscles. So when we do the incline chest press first, it allows us to give as much strength as possible to get the most reps out and to grow bigger and bigger. Let's get started. Sam, go ahead and put your hand placement there in the start position. And what we like to do is we like to place it in between this starting line to the first line right here. Okay, that's as wide as grip as we like to go. All right, other people may argue to go a little bit further wider, but we'll get to that. But uh, in order for us to get the fundamentally sound tactics done first, let's go ahead and start at the beginner level. So beginner level, we want you to start with thumb right here, okay, and measure it that, right there. There you go, and that's your hand placement. Go ahead and curl it back in. Go ahead and curl it back in. That's where we want you to stay. So I want the camera to come take a look real quick about the hand placement. There you go, see his thumbs are right there. Good, now Sam is nice and ready and primed to conduct this fully you know, productive repetition. All right, so we're gonna go with no weight right now, barbell only, so Sam's gonna lift off, and the spotter's gonna come right here if you have one, and he's gonna come down, all the way down to his chest, and lift up, boom, right there. Right when you're about to lock your elbows, stop. Do not lock your elbows, because we do not wanna put pressure on these joints. So let's do a full rep time. Up, and he pauses right there, right before he locks it. Do not lock your elbows, okay? Come back down, let's do a few more reps. Three, four, and don't forget to breathe between reps. And one more, five. And then you're just gonna rack it up, just like that. And if you look at his upper chest, it's blown out. Look, man, look at this pex right here. This is the exact muscle we're looking for, okay? On this incline, incline barbell workout. All right, moving on. And it's gonna be the same fundamental when it comes to the grip here, right? Nothing changes. It's just the height of the bench. Now we're gonna hit the flat portion of our chest, which is midway right here, midway. This is where a lot of athletes gain the most strength from because this is a very comfortable position. You're laying down and you're getting ready to push up. And this is one of the uh, greatest strengths that, that we have is the ability to push. That's why we love chest day. So Sam's gonna do it again. His thumb's gonna be uh, a rule of thumb, no pun intended, but his thumb's gonna be right here as a rule of thumb. He's gonna measure like that. He's gonna lift off. This is the starting position up here. We always start up here. And he's gonna come down, hit the chest, and come back up. One, two, never locking your elbows, okay? Do not forget, we do not lock our elbows when we do these chest presses because we do not wanna pull out that joint in the elbows, which commonly 
occurs with athletes that lock out. So we're telling you that this, this method here will create longevity and you'll be able to sustain massive gains, not just, not just get massive gains, but sustain these gains because you're not having joint problems, okay? Very good job by uh, Sam here. And we're gonna go to the last part of our chest, which is our decline area, okay? What, a, what about the back? Um, you know how some people, they arc their back? Yeah. So Sam, Sam brought up a good question, you guys. I'm really glad that you asked that question, uh, but uh, we see a lot of times on the internet, people are arching their back up like that to try to gain strength. Now that's a different type of workout. That's a power lift the workout. We're bodybuilders, okay? When we bodybuild, we isolate our muscles. And in order to properly isolate these chest muscles, our back has to be flat like a supine, okay? Demonstrate real quick, Sam. Lay down, okay? And he's getting ready, go ahead, and get ready to lift up the bar. Lift up the bar to the start position and his back is flat, supine. You see that? There's nothing, he's not arch. Okay, do a rep, do a rep. There you go, we're keeping our back flat. Using our isolated muscles and our, our whole chest strength to push this weight up, okay? And that's it. So, any other questions you guys, don't forget to drop it on the comment section. We want all the questions to come over here, we welcome it. Like I said, there's many, many different ways to skin a cat. Okay, many different ways. And for us, we found this technique to work for us best, okay? And for those of you who are having questions or problems when it comes to bench presses, it's maybe because you're doing the, the wrong fundamentals. And hopefully this video can help you change those inappropriate fundamentals so that you can be on your road to making massive gains, all right? So let's get to the next uh, chest press, which is the decline, okay? As I was saying before, the decline is gonna be geared to helping your lower pec muscles. So come on here. He's gonna step back down again. No change to the bench, okay? No change to the grip position. Just the only thing that changes is the bench, okay? The decline of the bench, and he's gonna hit the lower chest. So he's gonna lift off in the start position again, and Sam conduct a proper rep for me. He's gonna come down, hit the bottom of his chest, and hit it back up. Never locking his elbows. Never at all, we don't lock our elbows. Keep going for five reps, two, and he can knock out. I mean, you don't wanna see this guy in action, but He's just doing this to demonstrate to you guys, so hopefully you guys can pick some of this stuff up and be on your way to, to getting these nice chests that you've always wanted, okay? There you go, now rack. Good. All right, and moving on, this is probably one of my favorite muscle groups to work on, which is gonna be the shoulder. And the best way to blow out these shoulders, you guys, is a compound movement, specifically geared for the job of a barbell, okay? So the next barbell workout we wanna show you is the military press. My brother here, he's gonna uh, faithfully demonstrate how to execute a military press. Like as you can see, we've set up our bench to where it's a 90 degree angle, okay? It's flat, he's sitting back flat, he's not arched, his back is not arched, he's flat, okay? He's setting up himself to push upwards, okay? So his grip is the same thing. If you come in here, we wanna use this as a rule of thumb, okay? Thumb right there at the edge, all right? Use that as a rule of thumb to where uh, you know exactly where you're gonna go every single time you do a set, okay? So he has it up there, and he's gonna go with the start position. Like I said before, the start position is always on top. He's gonna lift it up, boom, that's the start position. Now, to properly execute military press, he's gonna have to come down, all the way down, all the way down, and push up. Never locking his elbows again. He's gonna do five sets, and he's gonna show you, just like that. Two. Three, four, and one more. Five, excellent. Then he's gonna wrap it up. Thank you. Next, he's gonna walk over here. One of the best ways to also blow your rear delts out is gonna be the upright row, okay? So we've got this, up, this bar here is slightly lighter than our typical Olympic bar, which is weighs 45 pounds. This weighs 28.5 pounds. Uh, it's a little bit more lighter and it's gonna be a little bit more easy uh, to conduct these exercises with. Not saying that you can't do it with a regular barbell, but you know, we're not as strong, so we like to keep that for the bigger pieces out there. All right, so without any further ado, he's gonna grab this bar, and for visual purposes, he's gonna stand to the side like this, and if you're gonna come up over here, we wanna keep the wrists eight inches apart, and to properly measure that, the two thumbs should, should, should match right here. So drop the thumbs, and you got it right there. And he's gonna put him up like that, and he's gonna conduct this rep 
just like this. He's gonna pull up all the way up to his chin, pause for a second, and come back down. Good, just like that. Breathe, up, two, just like that. And focusing on that squeeze. Three, and coming down. Up, four, coming down, and up, five. Stay right there. I want you guys to come look the back right here. It also uh, hits the rear delts right here. As you can see, you know, it's really flared out right there, and that's what we want. That part of the shoulder gets affected by these upright rows. So, have at you guys. Get this done, because this is gonna provide the massive shoulders you want while you're walking on that beach. Okay, this one's gonna be, we're gonna do the same thing, he's gonna stand. It's a standing overhead press. So he's gonna grab the barbells, and he's gonna turn this way, okay? And he's gonna grab it, and he's gonna put it up on his shoulders like that. There you go. Remember, the hand placement is right there. See, he has it, good job. And then he's gonna press it up, to, up towards his, never locking his elbows, coming back down. Boom, slow. Up, coming back down. Really feeling that, keep doing it, keep going it. You see how the, the, the shoulders, right here are activated while he's doing this chest press. And this is exactly what we want when we're conducting this exercise. All right, remember, we also, every time that we come off the bench where we're not protected by our back, we also want to maintain a straight back. As you can see my brother's doing, he's standing straight and tall. He's not slouched over like this while he's going like that. He's standing up and tall, bringing it up like that, and maintaining that tight ab, tight back. There you go, good. And as you can see, his back is straight. We don't want to mess with the lower back because if you start tweaking with that, you're going to get injured and you're going to be a sad dog and you're not going to want to work out. And as always, we preach safety. So anytime you come off a bench where it's not protected, we always recommend using a belt that's going to secure your back so you don't tweak your back for some reason and uh, this is going to cause unnecessary injury and you cannot train further. So we don't want that. The next barbell workout that we want to show you guys is going to be very, very challenging, but anybody can do it. We can do it and so can you. So we're going to start off with the first one. It's called uh, the landline overhead press. And this is going to work very good in isolating your individual shoulder, help it breaking more fibers in that muscle so that you can grow, okay? So this one, he's going to stand like this, feet, feet and knees shoulder width apart, just like that. Okay, he's going to get a good stance. He's going to put it right there on his shoulder, the right shoulder is working, and he's just going to push it up, boom, like that. Just like that, not locking the elbows. They were never locking the elbows. One, two, and he's just kind of, there you go. Three, great form, just like that. You see the back is not moving, everything's tight. The back's tight, the abs are tight, the legs are tight, okay? And he's gonna switch, same thing, all right? Boom, one, two. See, all that shoulder blade is, is, is pretty much activated, okay? I like to do these uh, at the end of my workout, and I call it the finisher, and we would do 15 to 20 reps per arm to get this thing blasted, you guys. Thank you so much, brother. I know what the question is gonna be. The question is gonna be, what if we don't have this thing to put the barbell in? Well, for beginners, we don't wanna tell you all these hacks where it's gonna maybe hurt you. So we wanna caution you to try to uh, figure a place where it's gonna be very safe for you, but we'll show it to you anyway. So what, would, what we do, if we didn't have that, we will find a corner, we'll go and insert the back end of the barbell to it, okay? As you can see, it's holding pretty tight right there, okay? You're not moving any crazy weight, so you're fixated. Again, you're just going like this and up and down, okay? You see how it's fixated like that? You have to be very cognizant of where you're at in terms of the bar, that it doesn't slide over or slide under so that, you know, maybe this barbell could hurt you instead of help you. So be very, very careful when you're doing this without the help of this contraption here. And now to my favorite body part ever in history is gonna be the guns, okay? And we're gonna start off with the biceps, all right? I know all of you guys love the biceps. Uh, that's why we waited for the middle to, to kind of do this. So here it goes. The bicep curl is very, very simple to do, but it can get complicated, right? So we're gonna start off with just the basics, the basic bare bone. What I want you to do is start off is grab your barbell, okay, feet and knees, shoulder width apart, get a good stance, so when I push you, you're not gonna go anywhere, right? When I push you, you're not gonna go where you're stable, okay? You get a good grip, good stance, all right? What he's gonna do is his grip is gonna be same way as he would uh, grab, it's an under grip, he's gonna grab the grip like that underneath, okay? And it, his rule of thumb is gonna be the first line here, okay? He wants his hands right by the first line, all right? That's the, that's the basic 
bicep curl you're gonna do, okay? For now we have very lightweight, he can, he can put 45s on here, he can wrap it out, trust me. This dude is beast, all right? But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna save that stuff save for the very end, all right? So stick around, all right? So to properly do a full curl, he's gonna come up, he's gonna curl it up all the way up, there you go. A lot of times people come down, they go down like this, and they curl like this, they come up like this, boom, boom. Now what the heck do you think that's gonna do, huh? Huh? You do 100 of those, you're not gonna get you anywhere. So we want four bicep curls. We'll get to the short one later, but for now, we want you to focus on the full bicep. So come straight up, do five reps, just like that. One, all the way down, up, two. If you look at him, his back is straight, okay? I can't even push him, okay? He's fundamental sound, and he's on there. No yanking, okay, no bouncing back and forth. We don't do that, okay? That's not gonna isolate the bicep muscle, and it's gonna ruin your whole physique. Don't do that, guys, it's bad form. Don't ever do that, it's gonna get hurt, all right? So the next one, Okay, we want to do a close grip. Go ahead, keep holding it. Go ahead and come closer. Closer, closer. No, 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 underneath. So go underneath with your hands, like this. Yeah, like that, and get underneath. Go closer. We want a close grip, close grip biceps. This close grip is gonna, it's gonna shoot out this, this outer portion of these biceps. So he's gonna do the same curl, but then he's gonna squeeze at the middle. There you go, come down, squeeze. Okay, same bicep curl, but it's gonna be isolating the outside region of the biceps, okay? So it's really hitting a, a different uh, uh, bicep uh, muscle that is not part of your round muscle right here. Okay, we'll get to that part. Okay, the next one uh, is gonna be very simple. It's gonna be a reverse grip, just like that. And for this one, he's gonna do an overhand grip, okay? He's gonna come overhand. The other one is underhand, okay? Overhand up like this, close grip, rule of thumb is your thumbs out like that, come closer, there you go. And he's gonna come up like this, okay? Working out that forearm area. Forearm, one nice pop by forearms. This is gonna be the exercise to get you there, okay? There you go, a couple more reps, just like that. Back straight, everything straight. Uh, I can't even push him right now, he's fundamentally sound, and he's rocking these reps, rocking them, just rocking them, all right? And there you have it. If you'd like to see more, please look at our dumbbell only workout, which explains everything. And as you can see now, his biceps are fully pumped. We did a great job with those barbell bicep curls. Now, we're gonna continue it with the triceps, baby. You want four shoes like this? All right, pay attention. Get the notepad out. Don't use your mind uh, as a file cabinet and start writing stuff down, right? So, the best exercise for these right here is gonna be the skull crushers, all right? Just by the name alone sounds sick, right? You say skull crushers like, what? That. So we're gonna show you right now. You're gonna lay down flat bench, okay? Not inclined, not really inclined. Alright, because I'm gonna assist him. You're gonna need a spotter, okay? He's gonna grab the bar, you're gonna give it to him like that. Good rule of thumb, you come over here, you look over here, see it's still the same grip. Okay? I'm gonna tell you first what you should not do. Okay, what you should not do is come to your come to your uh, forehead, that's your skull, and push upwards. Okay? This is the wrong method right here. What you want to do is you want to come to your skull and push it towards me, okay? Do it again, push it towards me. There you go, good, towards me. What that does is that isolate these tricep muscles on the inside right here. A lot of people do the outside right here, but they forget about the inside right here. Okay, so we want to round it out and fully balance it. That's why he's pushing out this way. He's using the momentum to come this way, all right? Do a couple more sets just like that so they can see it. There you go, and that slight adjustment, you guys, to these skull crushes for you, I believe that's gonna make a tremendous, tremendous change in your physique in terms of your triceps. Just that little adjustment. So take my word for it, take my triceps uh, word for it. This stuff works, okay? So the next one we wanna do in terms of triceps is gonna be the overhead tricep extension. So he's gonna sit down right here. Just face me, bro. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna hand him the barbell. Like that, and he's gonna put it over his head, shoulders in, and elbows in, okay? Usually, we wanna go ahead and spread those shoulders like that, all right? But what you're doing there, you're not really isolating your tricep muscle. So what we wanna focus on is putting it close together like that and doing a tricep extension up. Go ahead, up, boom. And remember, do not lock your elbows when you're coming up because this is bad, especially when you start to progress into higher weight. Uh, you start putting heavy, heavy load on these joints and what ends up happening is that uh, we're only human and it's gonna break. And when it breaks, it takes a long time to heal. So, do a couple more reps there. And that's it, he's gonna hand me the weight. Boom, he's done with that. Now, 
for the very last one uh, is gonna be our close grip uh, bench press, okay? This one is gonna be a massive compound movement. It's gonna get you the size you need for your triceps and we're gonna get to it right now. Like I said, this is my favorite tricep compound movement and I'm gonna share you the secret right now so you better uh, pay attention right here, you guys. So uh, this is gonna be the close grip uh, bench press, all right? This is used for the tricep, okay? Because of the position of the grip. So you wanna go in eight inches, all right? You want eight inches apart from your fist. So this is a good rule of thumb, all right? He's got it about eight inches, you're gonna drop the thumb. And however you wanna hold it, okay? Some people like to hold a grip like that, or some people like to take the thumb, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so he's gonna grab it, he's gonna start up with the, with the start position, and he's gonna come down to his chest and press up. And where do you feel it right now? Right here? Yeah, so he feels all the weight right here on triceps, okay? His chest is a secondary muscle. When your triceps run out, no more gas, then you're using your chest. Okay, but this is a great workout. This is a great barbell workout, you guys, to blow out that tricep muscle, okay? So try it out, use the form right, correct form, okay? Don't rush it because uh, you want to be fundamentally sound as you progress in these types of workouts. All right, we're gonna wrap it. Okay, and now to my least favorite part, as you can see, uh, it's the core. This is the part that I've been working on for the past few years here, and my teammates don't wanna do it, so I have to do it, right? So it's okay, though, I'll take one for the team. But we're gonna show you three barbell workouts that's gonna increase your core strength, okay? Not only increase your core strength, but also give you the uh, stamina that it's gonna take to have shredded abs like this. You guys want it? All right, let's go, let's get down to business. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay down. This is called the overhead sit-up, okay? So I'm gonna lay down flat, He's gonna grab it like this, okay? And all I'm gonna do is just do a sit-up. One, just like that, okay? Two, keep your bar high. Okay, you wanna go in and you wanna keep a bar like this. You want that bar to be up high like this. Like that, boom, three. And that's activating that, that whole entire app. Boom, four, like that, see? Five, one more. And six, just like that. I'll hand it back to him. And then we just get up. Remember, when you get up, you don't want to use your hands, okay? Don't use your hands. So you can also activate that core as you're getting up. All right, the second workout is going to be the side crunch. He's going to hand it to me here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my shoulder, okay? And I'm going to stand shoulder width apart. Same thing, okay? Nobody can push me down. I'm stable. And I'm going to do a side crunch. We start off with the right side first. Boom. One, back to start position. Two, start position. Three, start position. I'm already starting to feel it. Start position, and we'll go to the other side, same thing. Start position, see? And I feel it on the side real hard. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I shouldn't even put no weights on here, but I wanted to look cool in front of you guys. <laughs> ah, so just like that, you guys. All right, so the next one is gonna be the rollout, okay? Now, please be very careful when you do the rollout because we wanna keep our back straight, okay? And one of the errors that a lot of athletes get into when they're doing the rollout is that they're keeping their abs back loose. I mean, for this, you're gonna have to tighten them up, okay? So get on your knees, just like this. You're gonna grab your barbell with the weights. It's gonna have to have some sort of weights on it to act as wheels, okay? You cannot do it alone with just the barbell. All right, so you're gonna grab the same thing right here. Rule of thumb, just like that, and you're gonna go off, okay? Abs tight, back tight. Boom, come down, come back up. See that? Come down, come back, just like that, okay? Come back down, come back up, just like that. And that, that is very, very exhausting. I see right now, I feel the burn. Um, not to say that you guys can't do it, please try it out, but remember, keep your ab and your back tight so that you don't get hurt. All right, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, okay? This is gonna be the lower portion of the barbell workout that we're gonna provide to you uh, as value so that you can understand how to fundamentally conduct these uh, repetitions so that you don't one, get hurt, and number two, make maximum gains, okay? So uh, we're gonna start off with the squat. The squat is a very complex workout, but it can be very, very simple once you break down the fundamentals, okay? so. When we first start off with the squat, we want to position ourselves to where it's going to fit uh, our stature. My sister over here, she's a smaller stature, so she's going to drop the uh, bar a little bit lower, okay? So when before she gets in there, uh, she's going to have to properly stretch. And I should have mentioned this before since we're hung on safety, 
Uh, we want you to fully conduct these stretches and warm up in a safe manner so that you don't either hurt yourself or overextend uh, some sort of body part, okay? So if you have any questions on the proper stretches, please follow along on our stretching video. It's right down here, check it out. So the second thing before we do squats is to properly conduct uh, ourselves uh, uh, as a professional and that we understand that this has to be going in at a certain mindset. So she's got her mindset ready and she's gonna get ready to get under the bar. And so she's gonna go under the bar, okay? And come closer. The bar should be on the meaty portion of your back shoulder right here, right by your traps, okay? It shouldn't be far up like that because your spine is right here. It's gonna hurt. And, and, and if you're putting more weight into it, it's just gonna be a nightmare. So what we recommend is putting it right here on the meaty portion of your back, right below your trap area. So she has it under there, she's gonna lift off. There you go, when she lifts off, she takes a couple steps back, okay? Now we get down to the feet position. Everything here is sturdy, this doesn't move, okay? You can move your hands out like this, outwards for your comfort or come in for her. She likes it comfortably right here, or you're just gonna leave it right there. Okay, now let's talk about the foot position. The foot position, as you can see, okay, we're going to the standard squat position. So there's other squat positions such as the wide sumo squat or the narrow ones with the feet in. But today specifically, we're gonna talk about the regular squat position that we use and has worked effectively for us. So she's gonna stand shoulder width apart, just like that. That's her shoulder width apart. And what I want her to do, and she's already done it, is face her toes outward like that, boom, okay? Now that she's got that, she's sturdy, I can push her, she's not going nowhere. Okay, she's steady and ready to execute this repetition. So she's ready to start here now, and she's ready to execute this squat, okay? So what I want her to do when she first squat is put most of her weight on her heels, okay? All of her weight should be on her heels and not being afraid to squat down and lean backwards like that. Oftentimes when we start doing the squat, and I'm sorry, you gotta stand there for a little bit longer while I explain this. She's okay though, she's strong, right? So oftentimes when we do the squat, we come down and what happens? We bend to the front like this, okay? We start bending. And if you look at videos out there right now, you see people doing squats and I, I get cringed when I see that because it's so much of a, of a possibility of getting injured, okay? So what we wanna do, okay, she's got all her weight on her heels, okay? You come to the side right here, all right? She's gonna properly do this squat. She's gonna come down, right there, boom, and straight up, just like that. You see that? Come down again and straight up. Back is straight, abs are tight, and she's using that squat. There you go. Not going all the way down, just a little bit to activate those glutes area. And she's bursting right back up. Two more, come down, bursting right back up. Never ever locking your knees. Do not lock your knees when you come up. Again, we focus on safety. We wanna be doing this when we're 65, 70, and we don't wanna blow out this joint. So go ahead, couple more. Now one more. And she's breathing, I hear her breathing, she's gonna rack it, she's gonna walk up, and the spot is gonna help her rack the weight. That's a fully, fundamentally sound squat, okay? If you guys got any other advice, tips, or anything like that, please don't forget to drop it on here, man. We can all learn from each other. So this is what we've learned, and this is what we are using to help us grow. Okay, so the next one is gonna be called the reverse lunge. All right, so to demonstrate that, she's gonna come stand over here, and I'm gonna hand her the weight, just like that. Remember, at the meaty portion of her back right here, uh, uh, right below her traps, okay? And she's gonna do a reverse lunge. So right leg first, back. Boom, press down and back up. Boom, left leg down. Boom, just like that. You see that? Back straight, abs straight, no wobbling. There you go, fully affecting that. Four more. Just like that, self-explanatory. She's doing such a great job demonstrating it. One more rep. And that's it. Now I'm grabbing back to her, okay? That's, that's very, very simple, you guys. You guys can also do this without the barbell, okay? Don't think that you can just grab the barbell and just work it because this is, this is really advanced stuff. We wanna show it to you, but we want you to be safe also. Okay, so the next one is gonna be the Bulgarian split squat. And this one is very, very advanced too, but we know you guys can do it. We believe in you, so we're gonna show it to you. So to start off, she's gonna put her left leg just like that, good. And I'm gonna hand this to her, and she's gonna put it behind her. Just like that. There you go, stick your foot up, do a squat. I like them touch, just like that. Boom, there you go. She's activating one leg, okay? This is isolation on one leg at a time, okay? There you go, good. Couple more, two more, one more, and switch legs. Same thing, put the other leg behind, 
Take your time, get your position ready, and start the repetition. Just like that, boom. Maybe step your foot up a little further. The front foot, that was one. There you go, like that, good. Come, come down. Remember, you're gonna have to adjust yourself, okay? There's no uh, fixed position. You have to adjust it to where you feel comfortable, and it's gonna activate those quads. Look at your squats right here, coming out. It's activating as we speak right now. So these definitely work. Try it out for your program, you guys, and let me know how it is on the comment section. All right, and the last but not least body part is going to be the back. And I couldn't even find anybody else that's better equipped with the back muscles than my, my beautiful wife here. She's gonna properly demonstrate a few exercises. Remember, there are many, many more barbell exercises to do uh, when it comes to back. But we're gonna give you the three basic ones, okay? So this one, she's gonna set herself up for the reverse grip rows, okay? So she's gonna grab the bar, but it's gonna be under grip. She's gonna grab her, there you go, under grip like that, okay? A good rule of thumb is gonna be Right here, right where the line is, the first line. Okay, she's gonna grab it, step up, step back. There you go. Uh, lay, lay the bar down, straight down, and bend slightly at the waist. Bend slightly at the waist, okay? Come up a little bit more, right there. You see how she's at about a 70, 60 degree angle right there with her back, her back straight. Everything is kind of hung down here like this. Let's go ahead a little bit wider on the stance. There you go, now. She ain't going nowhere. Look, I push her, she ain't going nowhere. She's sturdy, okay? And so she's ready to execute this barbell uh, row, reverse grip row, okay? Boom, she's gonna pull it up all the way to her chest. And she's gonna come down. All the way to the chest, come down, okay? All the way to the chest, pause, and come down. If you look at the back muscle, all of this right here is being activated, right there. And this is a great compound movement to make massive gains on the back, as you can see here. So she's gonna do a couple more sets, just like that. And these are gonna be fairly simple with the barbell alone, you guys. So challenge yourself as you're progressing. Properly conduct your warm-ups, but challenge yourself as you're progressing so that you're not gonna hit any plateaus and you're not staying stagnant. Because we don't like that. We don't like staying still. We like to grow. Okay? Great job. So the next one is gonna be the good mornings, okay? The good mornings are a great way to strengthen that lower back, that lower back area right here where we usually get that back pain, okay? I don't know about you guys, but for me, every time I get back pain, it starts at the lower back. Why? It's because we're not strengthening it enough. Okay, so this is a great barbell workout to get your lower back strengthened, all right, so that you can have that V shape. So she's gonna grab the bar. There you go, put it over her head. There you go, and place it again, right back, just like the squat at the meaty portion of her trap turn right there, so that she doesn't feel the bar, you guys. Okay, she's got it right there, back at the meaty portion. Finish shoulder width apart, so I can't even push her. She can't go to where she's sturdy, and she's gonna stand up straight, all the way straight. Okay, now to prop, this is the stock position. To properly execute it, she's gonna bend low at the waist, come down at a 90 degree angle, and come back up and say good morning. Down, up, good morning. Down, up, good morning. Making sure that she never releases tension on that lower back area. Because once she lowers that tension, you are susceptible to injury. Your back is gonna tweak. We do not want that to happen to you guys. Couple more set, uh, reps, and that's it. I'll grab it from her. Good job. Okay, this brings us to the very last workout of the, of the back and our last workout that we're gonna show you for the barbell. So this one is called the T-bar row. And like I said before, if you don't have apparatus like this, you can use the corner of the wall. So she's gonna lay it down like that, it's gonna come down like that, she's gonna come over, hop over it, just like that, okay? Once she's over, she's gonna get a good stance. Feet and knees shoulder width apart, okay? And she's gonna come up a little bit, step up a little bit. There you go, I just let her hang right here. Step at the very end, okay? Bend slow, bend your knees a little bit. There you go, now come up, like that, just like that. There you go, it's a row, it's, it's a T-bar row. So it's kinda like a T-bar and you do it in a row. Okay, just like that. A couple more reps. And remember, this is lightweight, so if you'd like to challenge yourself, you add some weights on the end over here that you can increase your, your stamina and also strength when it comes to uh, your back. And then she's done with her set, she's gonna place it on the ground, hop back over. Remember to check out our stretching videos, fully stretch yourself and warm up yourself before you conduct any of these barbell workouts. 
If this is interesting to you and you'd like to see more, we have many, many workout videos down there that you can check out. Please look at our playlist. You may like it and it may be information to you. If not, please drop a comment on how we can get better. We appreciate all the help that you're providing for us and we look forward to being a service to you.